Hi, my name's Dave Cornford and I'm one of the authors behind The Diary of the 17th Man. We've just released our 10 Ashes Tests in Tweets. The collection of all of the 17th Man's best of Twitter posts day by day across the 10 Ashes Tests in England and Australia. Here are a few of my favourites of the wit and wisdom of 140 characters in Twitter. Smith standing firm as the chaos unfolds around him, a beautiful peroxide obelisk defiant against the hurricane. Shane Watson has been told by the umpire he can't run into the crease backwards to generate reverse swing. One's pre-match motivational speech seems to have backfired. Fire up the Bentley. Things that are smaller than Watto's front pad. The moon? The Beatles, Rick Waller, a Summit Patel Mark Elam picnic lunch. Thank God for the ashes. Life without cricket is empty and meaningless. I don't know why the umpires have gone off for bad light. They've clearly been doing the DRS reviews in the dark all series. Snicko really satisfies. AB trying to unravel the intricacies of DRS reminds me much of my nan trying to set up a wireless router. Finally, all the talk can stop is Slater's opening gambit. If only, Michael. If only. I've eaten quinoa and can't bat. Correlation established. Trimlet on to bowl. Looks like Tarzan. Bowls like Jane. I reckon if it hits the sight screen full on, you should get eight runs and a biscuit. No one bowls a joyless maiden quite like Watto. England have an 82 page catering dossier for their fussy eaters. How many pages on fast bowling? Prediction, if Australia add 300 today without losing a wicket, they will inch ahead in this test. If they lose five for none, not so much. There is no public school that has yet devised a punishment as cruel as this ashes. Gird loins, more to come. Thanks and see you tomorrow. Nearly two hours into Saturday's play at Adelaide and not one shot of a park wedding. Lift your game! I'm going to assume Australians wear junk food containers to show that they've finished a large amount of chicken. Like a fried food brag. Oh, did you see Andy Flower's eyes there? Run away, Brody. Far, far away. Great. Finally got in sync with Adelaide time. I am now wide awake on Monday at 4am. In winter. In tooting. Thanks. The temperature in Perth has averaged more than every English batsman this series. Muted response from Wacker crowd to Siddle coming on. Vegans focus group very badly in Perth. Stokes, like a carrot pulled out of the ground prematurely and sent to a Woolworths fresh food section, is batting like stale veggies. Sweet Watto flavoured salt being rubbed into this wound. Wouldn't be summer without an Australian PM pretending to care about cricket. It might be best for the future that they move Jane McGrath Day to day two, just in case. I hope you enjoyed that small sample of the tweets contained in 10 Ashes Test in Tweets. There's nearly a thousand of them, and you can get the book as an ebook for Kindle or for the Kindle app for iPad from Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk. For more details about the 17th Man's book and his podcast, you can visit 17thmandiary.com. And coming soon, the 17th Man's full Ashes Diary. Ashes Diary 2. The 17th Man, Summer of Shove, Australia 2013-14, and Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk, in ebook and paperback. Look out for it soon.